Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Here's an old receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Hmm. I seem to remember a tube puller that we got from Smart by Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. Yes, here it is. This is a top-of-the-line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. Yes, he did. Thank you, Ricky. All the lights are out. It must be broken. The instructions say, insert coupon for movie. It wouldn't fit in that, Tron. It's a TX1138 tube, and it looks burned out. She doesn't want it. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's Down the Tubes. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. It's been a long time. What happened to your bakery? Oh, I had to pivot. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business has really slowed down. I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. And I can see how busy you are selling tubes. Oh, Dolores, you always had such a good sense of humor. This is evening. You should see how busy it is in the afternoon. Nice tubes. Uncle Chuck would have been pleased. Oh, yeah, your Uncle Chuck's my hero, and he loved my pies. I have to go now. See you soon. There's no path beyond this point. It just looks like unfinished temp art from a cut room. Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? Eh, it's not too bad. Long hours, low pay, boss is a jerk. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You talking about me? Shut up, Dave! Look, writing you out of the will was a dick move, but I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days. Anyway. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have the cherry pie, 
Sorry, some tall guy just ate the last slice with a cup of joe. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hamburger. See, sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad, and I can't open a new package of hamburgers till they're gone. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. This hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I, uh, gotta go. I feel better now. It says we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely's first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. Otherwise, it looks fine. Have you seen my dime? Hey, buy me a drink? Diggin! It's an LFG-1982 tube in perfect condition. It won't work on that size tube. It's for a TX-1138 size tube. That's an LFG-1982. It's a spare AT-25 tube. Very rare, hard to find. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the grand lobby. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores!
It fits perfectly. Looks like it's working. The instructions say, insert coupon for movie. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? I'd play it if it were a sure thing. It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. I'm here to serve. Hi, Dolores. Welcome back to Thimbleweed. <laughs> Shame to hear about Chuck's death. He was a great man. Dude was charming and smart and full of integrity. Sure. Still working at the Quickie Pal, huh? You know it, Dee Delicious. I'm keeping it real here while I work on my inventions. You're an inventor? Well, not exactly. But once I figure out how to get what's in my head onto paper, I'll be just like your uncle. Right. Why would you want to be like my Uncle Chuck? The man is my hero. He had it all. Babes, brains, and fat stacks of Benjamins. Who wouldn't want to be like him? Well, me, for one. My uncle wasn't perfect. Uncle Chuck was human, after all. There's another side to the man he showed in public. Yeah, but I bet it was even more awesome than the one we got to see. I always wished he was my uncle. Although it would have made my crush on you in high school super weird. <laughs> Barf-tastic. How's your cousin doing? I heard he got into MIT? Yeah, he did. The total dweeb. The town looks pretty dead now. I haven't been home in a while and it seems like half the store is packed up and left. Yeah, there's a pretty gnarly ghost town vibe out there. But the diner is still open if you want to pay to lose your lunch. Uh, and the arcade is still going strong. I think I've beaten all the games in the arcade. <laughs> oh yeah! I think you still have the high score on most of the machines. It's funny. I don't get to play as many games now that I make them for a living. You work for Mucus Phlegm, right? Yeah. Bodacious. See ya, Leonard. Come back soon, Dolores. No way am I going to look in there. I can smell it from here. It's a WC67 tube, used for water controlling Tron units. It won't work on that size tube. It's for a TX1138 size tube. That's a WC67. It's a key. Hmm. It says office on it.
Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? How's business been going? In this town? Always slow. You know how it is. How else may I be a boo of service? Did you see my dad just before he disappeared? I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Yes? Please, tell me everything. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. Weird. Dad's nose isn't big, and you know what Dad looks like. How else may I be Abu of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. It's been lipstick to death. Well, back to work, Abu. That doesn't use electricity. I feel like something other than the Hotel Tron 3000 is watching me. Oh. I can't do anything right. Dolores, it's me, Dad. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. I wonder what the guest is up to now. What? Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. 